So now we're gonna make some chocolate stirrers. So Christmas time is the perfect time for hot chocolate and these are gonna make hot chocolate extra special. And there's a cheeky little hack that we do to make them work and make them really easy. So what I've got here are just sort of like panna cotta mini molds. And then I'm gonna take these little mini gorgeous Christmassy cupcake cases, which are like these here, which I think I got from Lakeland, but um, you can get them on Amazon. And we're gonna put loads of links on my site. So I'm just gonna take these and drop one into each mold. Now, if you want giant um, chocolate stirrers, you don't even need to bother with the cupcake cases, just oil, a flavorless oil into your molds and you can do it direct into your mold. But I think these are really cute and festive. And my children will really like them. So I'm just gonna pop one of these into each mold. that's the case is done. So here I've melted around 200 grams of milk chocolate and 200 grams of white chocolate. So I'm just going to do a mixture of the two. You can layer them if you want. So milk and white into the same um, case. If you do that, you have to set it in between each stage. So I'm just going to do white stirrers and milk chocolate stirrers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take, first of all, my chocolate and I'm just going to pour it into the little cupcake case. So, trying not to spill. So we'll do half in white and we'll do half in the milk. So you don't want to fill it right to the very top. You'll see why in a minute. A little bit more though in this one. Okay. So that's the white ones filled. So what we're going to do next is toppings. You can put literally anything you want onto these. So I've got a mixture of little fudge pieces, mini marshmallows, white chocolate chips, and milk chocolate chips. So I'm going to start off. I'm just going to put selection of each of these. So when you're dropping your toppings in, drop them around the edges, the outside, because you need to leave space for your stick to go in. That one's fudge. Let's do some mini marshmallows. And delicate fingers for this. And put some milk chocolate chips. Okay. So now we need to add our sticks. These are just little wooden lollipop sticks. Again, online, I'll put all the links on the site. That's what we need for these. So because the chocolate is currently melted and so our sticks won't hold in place, but if we set it, we won't be able to get the sticks in place, we've come up with this little hack. So what I've taken is kind of muffin or cupcake cases. And what I've done is I've made a slit in the middle of each one with a knife. This is obviously something adults should do, don't let the children do this. And then my stick can go through this. And then what I can do is pop that into, put my stick straight into my case, push the little cupcake cake in, not so it's touching the top, but just so that it's secure and it holds the stick in place. And then that can go into the fridge to set. And then you just take the cupcake case off at the end. So we'll just do the white ones and then we'll get on with making our little ones. So stick through the hole into the centre of our little stirrers, push the cupcake down, cupcake case down, just till it holds. Just repeat with the rest. was very upset that she had to go to school today when she knew that we were making all these treats. The only way I got her to go in the end was by the promise that she gets to eat it all when she gets home. Now 
chuck it onto our milk chocolate. So same process, we're just going to fill our little cupcake cases. Things. Again, a mixture of fudge, marshmallows, chocolate chips, like I said you could put nuts in these, whatever it is that you like, that's what you can put in. Chocolate chips. Make the holes first, it would be very difficult to make it with the wooden stick, it's not sharp enough. I'm going to pop these in the fridge now, just until they set, and then whenever you make your hot chocolate, them out and you have the most delicious chocolate stirrers ready. So let's get them in the fridge and then we'll see how they turn out. Okay so it's time to see if our chocolate stirrers are set and ready and delicious and just about ready to be eaten. Um, so they've been in the fridge for quite a while, let's take them out. See, so you just literally take off the cupcake, and I've just got this little red platter because it's very festive. How gorgeous do these look? I think my children won't even wait for a hot chocolate to dive into these. See, it's so nice for a table display when you do lots of different toppings that everyone can choose whatever's their favourite. This one must be mine because it doesn't really fit on the tray. Mm -hmm. 